many of our friends have recently filed for divorce, and it's scary. Too many. So how do you maintain a polished marriage? You have one. How do you do it? Oh, there's so many things that you have to do to have a blissful marriage, and you really have to do it. Okay, okay. well, tell us. You came up with a list of top ten. Yeah, Here's the top ten. Compliment. What do you mean, compliment? Compliment your man. They love, they're very egoistic. They love Shouldn't they be complimenting us? Well, you have to compliment them first. Like, <laughs> what? like you know, like if they're doing a good job, oh, baby, you're doing a good job, or you're so handsome. They need that handsome thing for yeah. some reason. Okay, so number two. What's yeah. Number two? number two is don't criticize or humiliate them in front of their, you know, friends. That's the and worst. My yeah, mother does that to my father. No, you I cannot do that, especially in front of the kids. Don't, yeah. you know, don't tell them, oh, your dad is so-and-so. Oh, my husband is so-and-so. Don't ever do that because, you know, you're trying to put them down. Yeah, that's a good one. And number three, X equals Y. Tell us a little bit more about why we should never talk about the X's when we're married. X's. Never talk about your X so in front X of your husband. So X equals Y. Yeah, never. Like if you are divorced or something, never talk about your ex. Just no. How do you feel? Forget about marriage. How do you feel, about marriage. No, how do you feel if you know your husband talks about his ex? Right. Your right. number four is my favorite one because not enough people do this. Number four is date night. Tell oh, us about I date night. You love date nights. I love date nights. Date nights. We're gonna talk about this. We're gonna explain what we do on date nights, but that's very important. You have to do it once a week and don't skip it. Try to do it every. We, yeah, once a week. And, and coming to day night now is number five. This yeah. is the one that I think most women struggle with. Beautiful at all times. That's one of the hardest things I think is for all women. How do yeah. you look beautiful when you wake up in the morning? This is being beautiful at all times is so stressful. Yeah. But you have to. You have to do everything, everything like popping up the zit and oh. everything. So like kind of one do my hair, hair when I wake up in the morning. Yeah. Really like you have to wake up before him and be the last person to sleep. Yeah. yeah. So. You have to be beautiful, and you have to like change whatever hairdo or you know oh, style. Clothes. Always wear heels, yeah, and always wear heels. Don't wear those old grandma shoes. Number six. Yeah. This is another hard one. Never show everything. Never show everything. You have to be mysterious. You're gonna be married to this man for the next forty years, and you always have to think about that. Don't say that you're gonna be married to him for like three years or four years. That's not good. So what does that mean? You have to be mysterious. Don't, Don't show everything. Don't. Get ready in front of him when you're in the shower or you're making love with him. Just don't, just don't show him. Everything. Number seven. Number serious. seven is role playing. I love role playing. And so does your husband. Yeah, and of course, he's more excited actually than I am because you get to be the different character every single week. So I get to be like a nanny or you know or a, a stripper. Jet or a stripper or something. It's just fun, you know. Yeah. It makes me. You, know, you have to think of someone that, you know, like a name that he doesn't know so he won't imagine the person. So I don't think of Joanne because he's going to think, oh, I'm making love with Joanne. <laughs> okay. You can't do that. <laughs> okay. Touch. Touch every day. Touch. Touch is very important. You know, when you're married for like 10 years or 15 years, you forget to like touch each other. You know, like me and my husband, <laughs> we sleep. Before we go to sleep, we hold each other's hands and we rub our feet or foot and... You know, it's just so, it's touch is very important. You forget, you know, sometimes when you've been there for 10 years, you just make love. You just have sex. No, touching is important. <laughs> <laughs> so don't forget about that. Touch his face, touch his hands, <laughs> touch whatever, touch his liberty bell, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Number nine. <laughs> okay, number nine is absence. Does not make the heart grow fonder. I don't <laughs> Sorry, believe. Not well, sometimes you have to give them space, but for some reason, I have researched this. Um, most of the marriage marriages that have been pretty successful are the ones who are always together all the time. For some reason, me and my husband were always together. Like and number all ten. The time. Number ten. So Let's move on. Cause yeah. that, that one I have a problem with. That happens. well, you have to be together all the time. Just give them space for a while, but then, you know, because, you know, if they go out of town all the time, you can, you can do a lot of things. Not even, not only for, you know, not only for <laughs> men, but also for women. You get distracted and you get temptations Cheating. all over. Number so, 10. What's number 10? Yeah. Number 10. No one likes the easy word. What do I mean by this? Don't, I know that sex is important, but kind of like, um, how to pace it. Um, not 
Don't give your husband sex every day? Every day. Or do it in a different place or something. So in other words, to wrap this up, yeah. what is your whole conclusion on how to maintain a polished marriage? Keep the sack empty. <laughs> so I, think, I think the whole thing is, yeah, do not settle after you say I do. Yeah, yeah. make sure that the sack is empty okay. and yeah. give, you know, be submissive to your husband. Give whatever, do whatever that will make him happy because if you do that, he's going to give it in return. Keep the sack empty. 100%.